Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this! This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time! If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything! We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world! I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> oh! Oh! Ow! 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 Oh. Hide! <laughs> Great! More gas! The mine carts! something about the gas. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Buddy, let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet wow. the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <laughs>
much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. I'm here to reassemble the Order, all right? You know the Order? Eligard's old gang? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. <laughs> Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best 
machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores? Some people say I lack modesty. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do, but will I share it with you? Hmm, no, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. In real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Elagard's protege. I told him I wouldn't tell you this, but he thinks you lack creativity. That you're not inventive. Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good dirty ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people? Guess I just call them like... Oh no, my machine! Oh my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit! Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water! Oh no, your amazing invention! You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Stupid cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. Just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh! Yeah, I can see that. I'd really love it if you did something about that. I'll see what I can do. Notice you checking out my cowapult friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! Hey, that farmer over there sent me, the one with all the sugar cane? Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. You think you could stop? Oh, well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. Come on, isn't this beneath you? You've already perfected the cowapult, clearly. Shouldn't you start turning your attention to new pursuits? You 
actually make a lot of sense, friend. Maybe it is time to find my next masterpiece to be. Huh, thanks for helping me get my head right. Hmm, maybe a Tremu Shay next. Hi there. Wh what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Bam! Door open. Guards Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. What are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on. If it requires all of these ingredients. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing... something with them. But I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. 
Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. I guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable pig, that is! <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle Girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Okay, delivery circuit is on. Blaze rod, iron block. rod. It's all tingly. Just what the engineer ordered. Uh, Eligard, I got those things you asked for? Ah, excellent. Fantastic. Love it. Always happy to have a capable set of hands around. Carrying materials, disposing of fainted assistants, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Another bust. Now, about you three. Excuse me? Excuse me. Could you please not lie on my floor anymore? Someone's gonna trip over you while carrying lava, and it's gonna be such a mess. Lava everywhere. And boy, nothing gets lava out. Nothing. Except more lava. I don't think that I've ever fainted before. I was just so excited to meet you, and... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? You know about Ivor? He's created a terrible monster. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block, capable of altering reality itself. Ooh, I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? 
This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me? If you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe will you help me make one. It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. Oh! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! 
I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic. Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. I'll just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. Hey, Eligard is cool, and she's going to help stop this weather storm. Ellie? <laughs> cool? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, wait, 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 you're serious? Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's, uh, whoo, ha, oh, boy. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. Boomtown? That's the name of Magnus's kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very... sweet. Axel, not your fight. Stay out of it. But your friend has a point. I can fight my own battles. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed... everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just... think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you. This thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. 
stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. So he'll help us, right? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Who is that? Oh, no, it's... That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning. Avoiding all the... Nighttime, monsters, and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave, now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go, now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. Are you making fun of me here? Honestly, I can't even always tell myself. But you seem all right. I kinda wish you had my back before, but whatever, still seem alright, ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome, or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you wanna hug it, or just walk away. I'll be honest, he's been kind of annoying you fighting over negativity. Yeah? That's why you didn't listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. Ooh, awkward silence. Always a stunning endorsement. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. Why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the Witherstorm. We can 
scratch all that out later, but we got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! <laughs> 